Hello everyone, hope you all guys are fine. Today I am going to discuss about bacterial disease of livestock that is hemorrhagic septicemia. I am from Nepal and this video is for all veterinary students. Let's start the video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hemorrhagic septicemia as well. It is also known as pastoralosis, sipping fever, stockyard disease, barbon disease. It is a acute septicemic disease which occur in cattle, water buffalo, sheep, goat, pigs and camels. Usually after some form of stress such as transportation, excretion, etc. And it is characterized by onset of high fever. 106 to 107 degree Fahrenheit, profuse salivation, erymatous swelling in brisket and throat region, etiology and causes Pastorella multocida and Pastorella hemolytica. It is a gram negative bacteria, dorsi bacilli, aerobic bipolar organism. The organism may be present in the respiratory tract of animals, susceptible host. Okay, I will tell susceptible host. Cattle and buffaloes are more susceptible species. Yeah, especially growing cattle within the age group of six months to two years are most often affected. Sheep, goats, and pigs are least affected. Okay. Clinical finding of HS: one fever, one hundred six to one hundred seven degrees Fahrenheit. There is a high rise of temperature to profuse salivation and nasal discharge, three conductivities and deep red color mucous membrane, four severe dysphonia if respiration obstructed, five pneumonia may occur, six swollen and enlarged lymph node of submaxillary and parapharyngeal lymph nodes. Edematous swelling in neck, throat, and brisket region. Edematous swelling are hot and painful. The edema produces severe dysphonia due to the obstruction of respiratory passage. Eight, severe depression and death within 24 hours in acute case. And other symptoms like abdominal pain, severe diarrhea. There is a sharp on drop in milk yield in lactating cows and respiration rate is rapid. Yeah, many more. It is first of all I will tell about diagnosis of HS by sign and symptoms. Symptoms mainly irimata swelling at neck and brisket region and dysphonia by history of animals like long travel stress by pm finding condition and consolidation of long edema in biscuit region hemorrhage in thoracic cavity okay we'll go treat for in treatment one sulfanamide that is sulfamethazine at the rate 150 mg per kg body weight for three days Sulfadimidine is the drug of choice to number oxytetracycline at the rate 5 to 10 mg per kg body weight. I am 3 number chloramphenicol at the rate 10 mg per kg body weight. I am antihistamine drugs and antipyretic drug also give like meloxicum. Meloxicum injection is analgesic, antipyretic, and anti inflammatory. At the rate 0.3 dekhi, 0.3 to 0.5 mg per kg body weight. 20 ml I am for large animal, 5 to 10 ml I am for small animal. And dexamethasone injection, anti inflammatory and metabolic rate in cancer either rate 0.05 mg per kg body weight that is 
10 ml I am for large animal and 3 to 5 ml I am for small animal anti histamine injection that is anti allergy Z it avil a that is 0.1 mg per kg body weight 5 ml I am for large animal 1 to 2 ml I am for small animal dextrose saline 5 percent or 20 percent a the rate 1 to 2 bottle for large animal IV owns daily or is for required yeah now we will go how to control HS or preventive measure of HS first of all vaccination HS plus BQ combined vaccine dose cattle buffalo carbs 3 ml SCA and other is HS growth vaccine 5 to 10 ml SC for large animal 3 to 5 ml SC for small animal I think you are you all guys are clear in this topic HS I am very poor in English but I will try and thank you for watching okay see you soon in next video okay bye and give me your feedback